Uh, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 3 and verse 10. Because thou hast kept the words of my patience, I will also keep thee from out temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come fast unto Lachia. Behold, I come quickly, hold fast, which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to you. And I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to you to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kakadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching words with me sincerely. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered the four corners of the world, preaching words with me sincerely as well, too. And I say Shalom to the Akwaf sisters as well, too. And I say Shalom. In the heavenly Father's true name is uh, Yahweh, in his only begotten Son, Bahashem, in the name of Hamashiach, Hashem, those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashman Kadash, the Holy Son. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out of uh, Revelation chapter 3, uh, verse 10 through verse 11. So we're getting close to uh, entering the uh, hour of temptation slowly but surely. In uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 to verse 18, we know that MOTB was this uh, karagma of this uh, central digital bank currency because this is going to be a new form of currency because very soon the paper dollar is going to be a thing of the past and they're going to be introducing and making it full mandatory around the world of this uh, MOTB, of this technology, of this karagma that they want you to store in the upper part of your body and the right part of your body in order to buy or sell because that's going to be part of the uh, outward temptation either you're down with the heavenly father and continue to endure to the end or you're down with this uh, BEA, BEAST modern day Babylonian economical system which is going to very soon in order to maintain or function in this society this new form of currency and a new form of way of living in order to buy or sell you got to have this technology stored in your body of this MOTB of this Karagma under this uh, BEAST modern day Babylonian economical system and I'm going to read uh, Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10. Because thou hast kept the words of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that the world upon the earth. Right? That's that, uh, that's that MOTB, the pushing of that CHIP in order to buy or sell, even if you're rich or poor, free or bond. So upper class, lower class, or middle class of anyone of any nation. On, the, on this planet earth because this is going to be a new form of currency a new form of way of living in order to buy or sell so we'll rather choose the ways of the heavenly father rather than trusting the ways of this world you know uh go to the next verse revelation chapter 3 and verse 11 because it says uh behold i come quickly hold fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown, right? We gotta make sure that no man take thy crown. Continue in the ways of the Heavenly Father, trust in the ways of the Heavenly Father, and continue to have our faith and love and trust in Yahweh for the Heavenly Father. You know, cause the more that he the more that we trust him, the more he's gonna lead us uh, the right the right way, the positive way. You know. So with that, hopefully this uh sit down lesson was uh, edifying of uh, Revelation chapter three and verse ten through verse 11 and with that I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to you to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem Makar Kadash, Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely and Shalom to the uh, Akwaf as well too and I say Shalom and once again the Heavenly Father's true name is uh, Yahweh and His only begotten Son uh, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shad, those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kandash, the Holy Tongue, those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kandash, the Holy Tongue. Once again, the Heavenly Father's true name is that Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Bahashem, and the name of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shad. And those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kandash, the Holy Tongue. And once again, Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And Shalom to the Aqua sisters as well, too. Until next time, I will say Shalom.